The University of Sheffield has invested £1.5 million in a state-of-the-art 7 Tesla preclinical magnetic resonance imaging system. This system forms part of a facility that is now available for private and public sector companies to access to develop preclinical imaging projects. MRI is a powerful non-invasive imaging tool that allows direct visualisation of the internal structures of a subject. As well as the traditional structural imaging that you can see on the screen here, we can do 3D reconstructions of your data set to assess the volumes or the structures. But as well as this, there's a plethora of other applications that MR is suited to. As a neuroscientist, I'm interested in understanding more about brain function. And one of the great things about the, the MRI system we've got here is that we can non-invasively look at brain function in our animal models. A fairly unique angle in terms of what we do in Sheffield is we have the capability to image our animal models in both the awake and the anesthetized state. So that enables us to acquire measures of brain function as well as measures of brain structure without the need for anesthesia but it allows us to relate the data we get much more squarely to measures made in humans using fMRI. What the animal MR system allows us to do is specifically look at the metabolism of tumours by using hyperpolarised substrates. So it's a method that allows us to look at the direct metabolism in tumours which can be targeted for therapy and it's the only way we can do that. We can't do it in any other way using conventional techniques. Our research has been developing cell-based therapies for cancer. What we wanted to do was really improve on them and try and get as much of our therapy into the tumour as possible. And one of the ways we thought we could do this is to take our cell-based therapy, load them with tiny magnetic nanoparticles, inject them into our mice and use an external magnet to draw the therapy to the tumour. And we've found that we've got an almost 800-fold increase in our therapy reaching um, our tumours. The most commonly imaged nuclei is hydrogen, and that is located in the water in the body and the body is 70% water. So it makes it ideal for looking at the internal structures of a highly water concentrated sample. However, it doesn't stop there. We can image any nuclei that contains angular momentum and a magnetic moment. We're interested in finding measures of disease progression in our mouse models of motor neuron disease that we can translate into the clinic. We've previously used the MRI facility to do kind of structural scanning, looking at muscle volume, but we're moving on now to do magnetic resonance spectroscopy of phosphorus, because with that we can measure a variety of markers of energy metabolism, so we're quite hopeful that we'll come up with some measurable differences there that we can actually use in translating our, our therapies to the clinic. We are attached to the Biological Services Unit for storage of your samples. You can come, we can prepare your sample ourselves, we can store your samples for longitudinal studies, we can scan them and produce the lovely images that you see here, and we can also do the further analysis, statistical analysis. We can also train how to use MRI, how to analyse data images. We are at heart a university and would very much like you to join us, to collaborate with us, and together we can learn.